Okay, this is uh, homework for Friday, April 3rd. And you're just given a bunch of flats and a bunch of sharps. And you have to figure out which key is it in. Is it in okay? We said there's three things that you can do. You can, number one, memorize them. Number two, use a circle of fifths. Or number three, uh, figure out by looking at the flats and sharps, which key it's in. All great. And here we go. Let's say you have one flat. Let's say you have nothing. There's no flats, there's no sharps. That's all you have right there. We know that that is a key of C. Okay. If you just have one flat right there, one flat is always F. If you have that one flat, F. Okay. Let's take a look at these flats. What are the names of these flats? <coughs> On the bass clef, that's F A C E, bigger than uh, A, smaller than C, that's a B. Let's take a look at this one, F A C E, that's E flat. This one is F A C A flat. F A C E, bigger than C, smaller than E, D flat. Uh, F A C E, bigger than F, smaller than A, G flat. F A C E, C flat. F A C E, F flat. Okay? These are the same names, they're just in a different order because they are in the bass clef. Okay, so we got all cows eat grass, B flat, all cows eat E flat, all cow A flat, all cows eat bigger than C, smaller than E, D flat, all cows eat grass. That's one less than A, so G flat, all cows C flat, all two before A, boom, boom, F flat. So let's take a look. We said if there's nothing, this is it. C, if there's one flat, F. Okay. If there's two flats, all you have to do is take a look at the, s the second to last one. So if you see two flats and I see that's a B, now we're in the key of B flat. Let's take a look. If you have three flats right there, you take a look at the second one in. So if you see three flats, it's an E flat. Okay. If you see, or, again, there's nothing wrong with just jumping over here and saying, okay, I see one flat, F, two flat, B flat, three flats, E flat. It says four flats, A flat. Let's check it out. I see four flats. We take the second to last one, F, A, A flat. Beautiful. We're going to stop at five flats because we're going to, these get a little bit hairy on the bottom because there's things called uh, accidentals where sharps and flats kind of overlap like an F f flat is like an E sharp even though there's no black key in between an E and F or a C flat is the same as a B sharp even though there's no black key in between B and C. So we won't worry about these too much and we're going to stop at five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if we have five right here, you see five flats. Take the second to last one right there. Okay, F, A, C, bigger than C, smaller than E. If you see five, we're in a D flat. Over here on the chart, it says if you see five flats, you're in D flat. Next week, we're going to add minors too. Like if you see two flats, what minor key are you in? Well, you now you're in the minor key of G minor. Okay, so that's how this works. Let's look at the sharps. <coughs> Real quick, F A C E, that's an F sharp. F A C E, that's an C sharp. F A C E, two bigger E uh, uh, F G, that's a G sharp. Uh, F A C E, bigger than C, smaller than E, that's a D sharp. F A A sharp, and we're gonna stop at five on this one, but I'll just show you these. F A C E, that's an E sharp. F and that's one of those accidentals, E sharp, F flat. Well, we'll talk about that later. <coughs> F, A, C, E, bigger than A, smaller than E, B sharp. And that's another accidental because you have like the B 
sharp, C flat, whatever that is. Okay, so let's say you have no sharps and no flats. Same thing again, you're automatically in C. If you look over here, no sharps and flats, you're in C. What if you have one sharp? Over on the circle of fifths, they says one sharp is G. Let's take a look. The way that you figure out sharps here is you say, okay, I see this sharp, F, A, C, E. It's an F sharp. Next note, G. So that just means we're in the key of G. What if you see two sharps? I see an F and I see a C. Look at the last one. It's a C sharp. Next note is D. We're in the key of D. This over here says two sharps. We're in the key of D. So far, so good. We're going up to five. We're not worrying about the bass clef so much right now. Okay, We'll get back to that later. Um, F. Let's see, F, A, C, E, F, G, that's, we've got three sharps, that's a G up there. The next note past the G is an A. I look over here, it says three sharps, A, good to go. we got four sharps, uh, F, A, C, E, that is bigger than C, smaller than E, it's a D. Um, next note past D is E. Let's check over here. Four sharps E. Beautiful. Last one we'll do is five sharps. All right, so we got F, A, C, E. This one's an A. So the next note past A is B. We're thinking five sharps is B. If we look down here, five sharps is B. Love it. So that is your homework tonight. Next thing I want to talk about is... get a lot of people getting all um, hooked up on our assignments and stuff like that. I just want to kind of remind you, if you're not sure, if, if you're good submitting assignments, stop. If you're not exactly so sure, hang on. So what I'll do, the first thing to find our assignments is I'll go in here to our Google, Google Classroom. Um, I will go and find our class right here. After I find our class, I'm going to look at classwork right there and I'm gonna pick last night's assignment that was week two Thursday right there and here you have me reading to you I showed you garage band uh, I gave you a link for what I sang to the little kids and then here's our homework key signature identification look at that 16 comments love it so then I click on this the key is these three dots up here you can reset your homework which I'm gonna do or I can find my code down where it says progress report. So I take a look here. Okay, I remember, uh, I'm, let's do 10 together. Um, one flat, I just know it's F. I just memorized that one. Okay, F major. Okay, two flats. Let's see, I always look at the second to last one, or I check the circle of fifths, either one. F, A, C, E, it's in between A and C, that's a B flat. One flat, let me see, two flats, look at the second to last, B flat, F, three, I look at the second to last, F, A, C, E, that's an E flat, nothing, C, one, F, two, B flat, I'll do one more. Second to last, E flat. Boom. So now I go back up to these dots again. I can reset my score if I want to, or I can get my code. That's progress report. So I'll click on pro progress report. I have to sign up. And then I sign it. They give me my code. I can copy the link. I can copy the code. If you copy the code, you can just paste it right on um, our Google Classroom, or you can copy the link, and I can get that too. So it doesn't matter how you do it. it tells me my score, uh, what I worked on, how much time I spent on it, et cetera, et cetera. Sound good? So that's all I have. Uh, have a nice weekend. And if you have any questions, email me or go on Google Stream and say I need help. If you want to Zoom, and I'll sit down and we can do our homework together. Um, just say, set up a Zoom time. I'm available, like, all the time. So whatever you need. Just let me know how I can help.
help you. All right, have a nice weekend, friends.